Our last theorem to talk about is the conjugate roots theorem. This one is important. It's also kind of tricky to wrap your head around. What the conjugate roots theorem tells us is that if we have a function f of x, and it's a polynomial, with only real coefficients, so this is important, each coefficient needs to be real. And then if we know that the complex number a plus bi is a zero of f, then its complex conjugate a minus bi is also a one of the roots. So in terms of the linear factors of f, this means that x minus a plus bi is a factor, and so is x minus a minus bi. Again, this is something that's sometimes easier seen with an example. All right, we are given that 4 minus 3i is a 0 of the polynomial f of x equals x to the 4th minus 8x cubed plus 200x minus 625. We want to factor x completely. Well, we already know two of the factors. We know that x minus 4 minus 3i is a factor, as is x minus the complex conjugate 4 plus 3i. Well, if these are both factors, then we know we're going to have x minus 4 minus 3i. Let's change the color here. So f of x will be equal to x minus 4 minus 3i times x minus 4 plus 3i times something else in order to get it equal to this x to the fourth. Well, let's go ahead and multiply these two complex factors together. So we're going to take x minus 4 plus 3i, I distributed the negative, times x minus 4 minus 3i. To multiply through, we take the first term and distribute it. Get x squared minus 4x minus 3xi. Then I take the second term and distribute it. I get negative 4x plus 16 plus 12i. And then I take the last term and distribute it. So I get plus 3xi minus 12i minus 9i squared. All right, let's simplify over here. I see a 3xi, 3xi, but I have a negative and a positive, so those cancel. Positive 12i and negative 12i, those cancel. And I'm left with x squared minus 4x minus 4x plus 16 minus 9i squared. But remember, i squared is the same as negative 1. So I get x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus 9, which equals 8x squared minus 8x plus 25. Okay, that long process told me that this polynomial f of x equals x to the fourth minus 8x cubed plus 200x minus 625 is divisible by x squared minus 8x plus 25. So next we want to do that polynomial long division.